We're going home, poo. Sign me up for violence. I'm ready. Let's go. Hello, cozy friends. Hello, cozy friends. I missed you. Hold on. Let's go full screen because what? Hello, I missed you. I miss you very much. But to 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 you, it's been it's been no time lost. You've seen me the exact same amount of times as you usually do. So you're like, I don't miss you, girl. Girl, I've seen you at the exact amount of times I want to see you. For me, it's been two weeks. Two weeks too long. You understand me? Two weeks too long. I don't like it. So we're back in action and I'm very excited. And I had to watch the past Stardew so that I knew what was what we were doing, what we were working on. This is the wrong because I it had been so long. It had been so long. So I rewatched it. And now I'm back. I'm I'm remembering. We're trying to get the radioactive ore for the last crafting 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 recipe. Crafting recipe. Something like Moira. And we're trying to get the uh, monsters, of course. That's all. That's all. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I know I said I wanted, I said last time, I only know this because I just watched it. Okay, just Jody's birthday. I think we're, we're friends with Jody, right? Yeah, we don't even need to worry about that. I said last time, this is burning me out and I want to do, I'm going to mix friendship with the, no. It's been too long. I'm ready to keep going. I have had a two week, basically two week long break and I'm ready for violence. Sign me up for violence. I'm ready. I just, I'm simply ready. So that's what we're gonna do. Someone said, eat lucky lunches and then just keep refreshing the first level for radioactive or I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna listen to y'all. I'm gonna do that. That sounds fantastic. I'm gonna do that. Oh, lucky lunches. You need the stars though, huh? I don't think I have any lucky lunches. Do you have anything that increases luck? Does anything like, let me check what increases luck actually. Oh, you just need sea cucumber and tortilla and blue jazz. <laughs> As if I have those two, I don't. Plus one luck, spicy eel. Plus two luck, pumpkin soup. Now we've got pumpkin. Pumpkin and milk, pumpkin and milk. All right, so pumpkin soup. Let me see if I have any pumpkin soup just laying around. I do not, that's fine. Wasn't expecting it. We have four pumpkins. I'll use two of those, thank you very much. And let's check our luck. I didn't check my luck today. We'll check our luck. We'll make some pumpkin dang soup. Oh, let me check sea cucumber and blue jazz. Okay, we have one sea cucumber. I don't know if I wanna use my one sea cucumber. I quite like him where he is, so I think we'll just try surviving off of the two added luck. I don't have any. I need milk in there. I have no milk in there. Why is that? Just no milk. Do I have pumpkin soup over here? No, we have Tom Ka soup. That's fine. Okay, why am I coming down here? Milk. I have two prismatic shards. I need to put those somewhere safe. Girl, I'm just sitting here. Okay, selling this milk, keeping this milk. Also, someone said I was not making up the deconstructor, but where is it? How do I get it? Is my question. Where do I, where does one obtain a deconstructor if I did not make it up. I will look it up. I'll look it up. Fine. I'll look it up. Okay, fine. I always forget I have another TV that I can check. Somewhat mildly perturbed luck is not on my side. Okay, so then maybe I'm not gonna use my luck stuff. I'm just gonna go for the monsters today. I'm not gonna try and go do radioactive ore. But first I'm looking up that deconstructor. What is it? Where is it? Where can we get it? I want to know. Show me. Show me. I have a sunny angel right on the top of my computer screen that I can just look at and admire. And I know it's Eddie's worst nightmare ever. I know the little sunny angel are Eddie's sunny devils. And that's just too bad. I love him. I love him. I might just send one to you, Eddie, and f somehow strongly suggest some mice might say force you to put it on the back of your computer screen so that you also have to look at one every day would you do it no no but i like the idea of it you know anyways he's very cute it's the little carrot one that i had on my switch but it fell off my switch because i was banging the switch around oh you get it from keys cheese from cheese walnut room for twenty dollars and now i see why it's it's there and it's valuable. I get it. I get it. For moments like this. Moments like this. Some people wait. I understand now. I do. So I won't be doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the desert. I'm just going to go to the desert. I'm going to the desert. 
And I might just, I wish there was a, the home, a home in the desert. Oh, I just paid. I have a desert totem. Oh my God. It's okay. It's taking me a while to get, get things. We're only just now living the big life, big baller life. It's hard to get used to. I made a heel today. If you don't know what heel is, if you don't remember, it's my human kibble. A human kibble, you might say. It's the little like nutritional drink where it supposedly has every nutritional item you would possibly need in a meal in a drink. So like the right vitamins, the right like greenage, fiber, all of that. Perfectly nutritionally balanced meal. And I wanted it because I hate when I'm in a certain mindset, I'll just forget to eat or I won't want to go make something to eat. So then I just like won't. And I just hate making food right now at this point in my life when I'm busy. So I love it because you can just blend it up. And I usually blend it up in a smoothie and it just it tastes like nothing cardboard. And it's fantastic. But I didn't blend it in a smoothie today. I just kind of mix it with my straw. I don't I don't advise that. I mixed it with a straw and water. So now there's chunks of it. So sometimes I'll get chunks in the straw of like the unmixed powder that kind of congealed and became a little almost nougat, a dumpling, if you will. Disgusting, I know. Oh, I also added matcha to this, but I can't taste it at all. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going through right now. It's really rough. Keep me in your thoughts, please. Let's go. Starting off strong. This is when I need a staircase. Oh. Let's up my luck a bit. I'm so frustrated I didn't bring staircases. This is such a waste of my time. That was insane. I spent way too much time on that. It's okay. It's fine. Ooh, a hole. A whole three levels. How could I ever repay you, Hole? Yeah, I've been getting a terrible combo of floors. I'm gonna leave. Hole. Eight. We haven't hit higher than eight, have we? All right, I'm going home. Today's just an unlucky day. It's gonna make everything, everything rough. I'm tired, I was tried. I had that entire level where it was just killing things that I don't need to be killed. I'm over it, I'm over it to sleep today i'm restarting come on poo we're going home poo time to go home i have so many life updates and i totally forgot because i i just streamed right before this and i went through literally everything ever all of my life updates for stream but i totally forgot that a lot of you don't watch stream and this is where y'all are watching me and getting updates on my life and all that yada 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 okay so i have a lot to update you on let's check okay it's fine i can't Okay, um, okay, hold on. I don't mean to do that. I think it's quite obvious I did not mean to do that. You guys, I can't get out of here. I don't, I don't know what, I don't, I'm just gonna have to restart the day. I was pressing every button ever. I couldn't move anything. Did I, I don't remember if I, I, I pressed every button. I don't know. You know what's hilarious is the use of like reactions to messages like in iMessage in different ways. I feel like the connotation to some of the reactions is just different. And I noticed that when we have like a group chat with our realtor or with the realtor that's in charge of the apartment we just leased, which is a very fun update. But um, we have a group chat with her. She's fantastic. And she told us that like the, something like something of the bees, like an owner, the owners are calling are like bringing in the county to take care of like a queen that just landed on the tree outside of the house. And uh, I don't, I'm giving up on this story. Basically like Maya reacted to it with a exclamation, exclamation like in response to the message about the bees with an exclamation, exclamation. I'm going to sleep. I'm going back to sleep. I'm going back to sleep. Speaking of sleep, I've been waking up. Thank you, Leia. She went mushroom hunting. I love her so much. I've been waking up so early, like going to bed at the same time, like 10, 30, 11, that I usually do, but waking up so early. And I think that's my lot in life. I think my struggle is not going to be, f you know how like when you get older, you need less sleep. And so a lot of people like can't fall asleep till a lot later. My struggle is going to be falling asleep at the exact same time every night. Totally fine. 10, 30, 11, fine. I can knock out. It's going to be waking up early. I just know it. 
All right, we don't have to worry about that yet. Yeah, I just know I'm gonna be waking up at like three, four a.m. Anyways, actually, I'm not speaking that into existence. That's I'm, that's not. I, I'll be fine. I'll get lots of sleep. Anyways, I'm tired. My brain is still kind of on vacation mode. I think I'm a little bit tired, a little bit ragged. And to to give a little bit of context to kind of wrap up what I was trying to say about the exclamation reactions is that the way that Maya reacted to the exclamation in that context was very different than when we how we normally use exclamation reactions which is more like it's like oh my god that happened or like shit or like I don't know I'm trying to I can't think of context because my brain is off but the the reaction is used like ah like it's said it's an acknowledgement I don't know what that noise is. And in this case, it was used as just like alarm, like, whoa, what a crazy situation. That's, oh my gosh, this is alert. And I just think it's interesting because she's much older. She's probably like in her late, maybe 70s, early 70s. I don't know. I was going to say late 60s, early 70s, but I honestly think she's in her 70s. She's an older woman. And so the way that we like use the reactions is going to be very different with older generation and i think that's funny that's all okay back to me <laughs> back to my personal life because y'all want to hear so much about that okay and then let me go check my luck so starting in chronological order the spirits are very displeased today y'all no that's even worse what do we do i guess today i could have focused on friendship Oh, and I should have brought Sandy something yesterday. Okay, let's bring Sam a pizza and let's bring Sandy a something. So starting in chronological order, I went to Tokyo. I went to Tokyo and I couldn't even tell y'all because secrets and NDAs. And I went with Nintendo. Nintendo took me to Tokyo. Flew me to Tokyo. Held me up at a nice hotel. Put me up is the phrase. Hi. What do you like? I forget every time because I don't really like you that much, Penny. She likes the roots. Oh, she likes an emerald. I just got an emerald, Penny. I'll be back. You stay right there and I'll get a pizza for Sam. Yeah, put me up in a nice hotel. Um, I brought my brother and it was for the game Everybody Want to Switch that just got announced. I think it's coming out in three days. It's coming out in three days. It is so fun, y'all. This is just aside from going on a trip to Tokyo for the like to take part in the game announcement video. It's not even like whatever. We took part in the game announcement video. It's very cool. If you haven't seen it, go look it up. It's on YouTube and on there. I think they play a little bit of it on the direct i don't know it's just like us reacting to the game and then like reacting to the fact that you can play 100 people and then they brought in literally like 90 people that were waiting behind us in a behind a curtain and we didn't know they were there we thought it was just us and then they dropped the curtain and we didn't even hear that they were there the whole time it was crazy it was insane but the game is really 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 fun like if you if you play games with friends or family like this is a good it's a must you, it's a must it's a must or just like if you're a teacher and because you can play some of the games on your phone so if you're a teacher, you can bring like your switch and then like everybody can use a phone or like camp or whatever. There's so many uses for it. I think it's very cool. Business, like team bonding, whatever. Because you can do up to 16 people with, I feel like I sound like an ad for it, but I just like made my TikTok for it. So it's like fresh in my mind. You can do up to 16 people with the Joy-Cons, but then you can do up to 100 people with phones, but only some of the games. And same, I think only some of the games with 16 little Joy-Cons, but the ones we tried were really fun so it's cool anyway so we went for that game and we had no idea what we were there for we were just like blind led into this room and like reacting to things it was so fun y'all it was just so fun and we had so much time well it felt like a lot of time we were there for like five days and of course one full one of those days was like travel like getting in and like being tired and didn't really count but the other days like four full days of just chilling in tokyo and we one of the days was a filming day so we didn't do a lot for that day but the two other days we fully got to like i guess i was only there for four days i don't know whatever the two other days my brother and i got to fully like explore there was one day where the nintendo contact just like brought us around and he had lived there for like seven years so he like knew a ton of stuff and knew where to go and da 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 he just knew where to go, knew where to take us, knew where to show us the lay of the land. We went to Shibuya and Harajuku. 
and just did a lot of shopping and I got a ton of Sunny Angels, y'all. They were like $6 there. They were so cheap. So I got so, so, so many. And then there's this store called like Kitty Land and they just sell a bunch of cute stuff. Like it's like six floors of just cute stuff. And I'm going to have a vlog on it at some point. So you'll see if you watch my vlogs, but oh my God, just adorable, just precious, just everything you could ever want. If you like cute little figurines, if you like, ugh. and then they have all these stores of like just along the street as you're like walking down the street, they have like the gotcha toy store so it's like a huge store filled with all of those little vending machines full of the gotcha balls and so you um just like go find the one you want you put in your little coins you get your little gotcha ball and then you open it and you like you see which one you got and there were so many cute ones there's like so many cute food ones it was just like my dream y'all know i love mini food y'all know i love like cute little things and it was just everything was like cuteness overload mini foods mini things overload and then there was this store called loft that was like seven stories of like imagine like a muji and like an ikea and a target like everything you could possibly want but very stylish and nice but like affordable so there's a whole stationary floor i went crazy i got so many stickers oh my god i got so many things so there's just so many cool stores and then there was Everyone you know, knows Uniqlo, the like clothing brand. They have a sister store called G G U. It's called G U. And I would not have known this, but the um, our like Nintendo point of contact who had lived there told us. And he was like, "You definitely gotta check it out if you like Uniqlo. It's like that, but cheaper and kind of like younger, hipper." And it was so cute. I wanted to get so many things. I got my brother some pants, and he calls them his Japan pants, and he wears them all the time now at home. And I got a cargo skirt a long cargo skirt which is so very like 90s 2000s i would say i feel like more in 2000s anyways i had so much fun the food okay this is the last thing i want to talk about in japan the food was amazing was so good was the best food i've had in a lot of food types in one place like they did italian better than some italian places i've been to and i've been to a lot all of the main italian cities they did american food way better they did everything way better because one the ingredients are so real and fresh and like not poison like they are in the u.s and then they just like their standard of care for food like i was the nintendo contact who had lived there forever he was telling us this like they just care so much about like culinary stuff and the standards of culinary skill and quality of everything and so even if it's like a 7-eleven like we, like everyone knows this but like the 7-elevens in japan have just like crazy crazy delicious good quality little foods that you can take on the go because everything down to the 7-elevens like they care about the quality of it and it's not just like i'm gonna take out cardboard pizza and fake wings from the freezer and put them on a little spinny hot plate for you to get immediate liquid poos from after you eat it when you have nothing else to eat on a road trip and 7-eleven is all you have that's the american 7-elevens okay the japanese 7-elevens are like better to go like onigiri like little whatever you're getting from there better than some of the japanese food i've had in the u.s i solely i believe it's the ingredients we just we we can't we are tied to our po poisoned fake food here <laughs> And that's my little rant about food. Okay. That's my rant about food. I was so, my, my body was very happy with me when I was there. Like I, my digestion was so good. My skin was clear. Like uh, my body was so happy that I was eating real food. And then as soon as I got back to the U.S., it was like my body throwing a tantrum and it just makes you realize how terrible our food is here. Hey, yo. It'll make you sad, kind of. <laughs> if you visit just any country in general, but definitely Japan, it'll make you kind of sad to come back home because you're like, dang, we're trapped. <laughs> but Japan was amazing. It was, oh, it was so much fun. It was so cool. It, like I was in, I still am in disbelief about it, but I was in disbelief for sure the whole time, almost to the point where I like just couldn't process, like I couldn't process anything as I was doing it. And it would take like a full day for me to process that. Like I was actually in Japan, in Tokyo, like experiencing these things crazy. So that was Tokyo. And I'm glad I can finally talk about it. I couldn't talk about it because it was confidential until the game was announced. So yay, now I can talk about it. And I have a little like TikTok and a reel about it. If you are curious about the game and you just want to like see why I was there or look at the like you can see me in the in the like game preview so that's fun which is insane that i'm in like actual nintendo like i me myself am in a nintendo like preview video 
Are you kidding? Like, one of the biggest video game companies. I'm in the video of their game. I just, I can't believe it. I, it's, it's not, it's not, when I say I can't believe it, like, I genuinely cannot, so. Someday it'll hit for me. I don't know when. Maybe I'll do some journaling about it. Okay, let's check our friendship. Let's go give Leia this. You inside? You are inside. Here's a truffle. Sandy. Oh, we got there with Penny. Yes. Thank God. Oh my God. Please don't go down like freaking Elliot. Okay. We just have Vincent Maru. So I need to keep a battery pack or diamonds. Okay. She likes diamonds and I have a lot of diamonds. I'm going to keep a battery pack. I'm going to, I'm going to keep a chest somewhere. Actually not a chest. I'm scared of the chests. Actually, I will do a chest. I'm going to do a chest. I'm going to put it right out here. I'm going to put a bunch of diamonds in it. I'm gonna put, let's do 10 diamonds. Who else? Sam, pizza, Sandy, sweet pea, crocus, or daffodil. Okay. We need either cactus fruit or pizza for Sam. Let's see if we have more pizza. No more pizza, but I can buy a bunch of pizza. I'll go do that in a sec. Okay, Vincent, pink cake, grape, pink cake and grape. I feel like we have a lot of those, right? Okay, we have some pink cake. Great, perfect. Okay, Elliot, we got Tomka. Duck feather? Maybe I'll go get all the duck feathers for him. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put the chest right here. Okay. So I need pizza. Ooh, okay. So, amethyst. We just need a lot of amethyst. Amethyst, ruby, emerald. Amethyst, ruby, emerald. Fairy rose. What else does Jazz like? And then iridium bar. I need to see what else Jazz and the dwarf like. She likes fairy rose, pink cake, and plum pudding. She likes her specific things, I suppose. Plum pudding. Okay, so we have wild plums around right now, right? Or do we have pomegranates? Wild plums. Okay, I'm gonna go out searching for wild plums for her. And then let's check Krobus. Where is my horse? I'm proud that we got this far. Krobus likes, oh, he loves, <gasps> he loves void eggs. That's so easy. Void eggs and void mayo, and I've been tossing it away like nothing. All right, so just some plums is what I need to collect. Here we go, got some void eggs, void mayo. All right, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna go right around, find some plums so I can make plum pudding. Okay, so what else, what else, what else? There's so many life, what just happened? Oh no, I just ate the monster musk. I mean, muck, musk, musk. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. Oh well. Okay, so, so many life updates. After Tokyo, that was like a month ago. I couldn't say anything. Now I can. Yay. Then, fast forward to right before I left, right when I was recording those two videos for y'all. Actually, right before that, which I think I had our, did, I, did we already talk about that? I don't know. Right before I left, I viewed some apartments in LA because my partner was staying there for work for like a day. So I was like, I'll come down, I'll view apartments and get a lay of the land. So I did and I viewed this one area that we were looking at that was kind of more outside of where we were originally looking. So we were originally looking like right smack dab in the city in this one neighborhood that's like really well known. And we were like, okay, let's look here because this is just where everyone moves when they move here. So we'll look here. And then I got some intel from people that actually live there, other creative friends actually. And they were like, one who had lived there for a while was like, it's too much. Like it's gotten kind of crazy in the past, even in the past like year or two. And it's also just like a lot of hullabaloo. Like if you are an introvert and kind of quiet, like it's not really the place for you because it's a lot of outgoing people. It's a lot of like day and night life. It's, it's an event kind of. And like, if you just want to walk, like it's very walkable, but if you just want to walk and like have a quiet moment, you're not going to have that. So we just wanted to be a little bit more this is like her talking we just wanted to be a, a little bit away from that like we can go to that if we want to but just a little bit more in a quieter more residential area and I was like I feel that I know myself and I know that that's what I would want I would not want to be constantly at a scene the scene I, I, I leave the house scene I gotta feel like I gotta dress up I gotta feel like I gotta whatever I don't want that not that I would dress up but you know what I mean I just don't want to feel that like pressure or just like social pressure or anything so we started looking a little broader 
in like LA, LA area. And we started looking like in this neighborhood that was like kind of west and a little bit farther out. And we were like falling in love with this area. We were like, oh my God, it's so cute. Like there's everything you need. It's kind of walkable. And even if it's not, you can easily drive everywhere. If I already talked about this, I'm so sorry. My brain is mush today. It reminded me a lot of where I live now. It reminded me a lot of where I live now. And that was cool. It was like, you know, it's safe. It's quiet. It's like a suburban area. You still have to drive everywhere, but like everything is so close and you have access to literally everything you possibly want. But it's like outside of the city. So you're you're outside of the city. You're outside of like, you know, all of the stuff that's happening or like even just like fun attraction stuff. You're kind of like a trip away. And like where I'm at now, I don't like the city i don't like sf um so i never go there but maybe if i liked it i would that was my thinking with this like new area we were looking at i was like well if i i like la i like the city of la so i would probably go there more i'd probably make the trip but it was like i'll get there um so that was my thinking i was like we'll have everything we need in this self-contained beautiful area but then we can also really quickly just get to la and like our friend you know for meeting friends and doing stuff easy peasy for going to do you know la stuff easy peasy but and this is why i think i'm so i'm so happy that like i made those decisions to be like okay i'm just gonna go for this one day and view some stuff view whatever i can and i'm so happy that we started looking into stuff way earlier from when we were moving in because it brought me through the steps of like figuring out what we actually want like when applied to real life so when i got there that day and i was doing a bunch of tours in that new area i was saying we were looking at i was like this is nice but it's i don't know I don't know, like something about the vibes. Something about the, I don't know, man. Something about the vibes. Kind of a really specific demographic. It was it was great. It was fine, but the vibes were a little different. And the biggest thing is that it took like minimum 30 minutes to get into LA. Like anywhere you would want to be in LA, it took like 30 minutes. And I was thinking more like, oh, you know, like a 15 minute jaunt like 30 minutes and I was not even in like high traffic time when it was high traffic time it was like 45 minutes I would never go I would never go I simply would just never go even if I liked the city I just wouldn't go so thank god we had that like experience where I could go hands-on like drive around I was touring places in LA and in the area so I had to go like back and forth and I was like this is too much this is too much and again just thank god i did that and while i was there i found the area in the la area that actually worked there was like a kind of wide net we were looking at and we were looking all in this like area surrounding area the edges and we were like I this could work there's decent places but then when i actually drove there and looked they were like this isn't very actually walkable like on the map it looks like you could walk here but you really can't and this place is super walkable cute so that's what that got us it was a very valuable trip and so then we were able to like fo really focus on a specific area and so for the past like two three weeks we've just been focusing focus fo focusing i guess it was two weeks focusing hard on that specific area anything that would come up we would like treat very seriously and like contact and be like can we view this we're gonna be out of town on vacation for this whole week but at the end of the week we're coming we'll view it sorry i'm blabbing oh, i need to check my luck today so um then we had our trip so put a pause on apartment stuff we had our trip and it was so much fun it was on a cruise i had never been on a cruise before i thought cruises were for old people i thought cruises were for people who didn't want to like plan a vacation and just wanted to stay on the bow and didn't want to actually experience i i had all these preconceived notions about tours okay and it took me getting a free cruise to understand <laughs> that tours are really fun tours are so fun and there is 100% a place for them in vacationing because sometimes you don't want to have to plan every single little thing you don't want to have to pay for every single little thing on top of paying for flights and hotels and all that stuff cruises are so nice because there's food included you can add on extra like special fancier specialized dining experiences if you want on the boat or off the boat but everything basic is free it was amazing. We got the complimentary drink package. You gotta pay for it, but it's worth it. Just, and not complimentary, unlimited. Just, we had so many drinks. We were drinking all day. We were lounging by the pool. The pool was so nice. It was very family oriented. There was lots of families there, but like, it was fine. I had not been around kids in forever. 
I it, it was fine. There was enough. It it wasn't like owned by kids by the kids. It was mainly like adults and family. And as long as you're like okay with the presence of kids, it doesn't. I didn't even think about it. It was nice because there was so much. At least on this one, the one I went on was the Navigator of the Seas, and I, there's so much I didn't know about cruises that we learned from people that were there that were like expert cruises cruisers. They like. I'm sorry. I'm not. I gotta go check my. Uh, stay on task I gotta check my look they're like expert cruisers are just like they go on cruises all the time and then they do other vacations and stuff but they love just like cruising so they were giving us advice and just like oh good humor good humor good I didn't know that like there's one ship like there's one ship for each type of ship and then they'll, that same ship the same crew is on it the same where should I go first should I go to the desert I'm gonna go to the mines one day desert next day Oh, whoops. One of the mines. Okay, let's eat Lucky Soup. Pumpkin Soup. Yeah, so there's a, there's a set crew. So like if you go back on the navigator of the sea ship, it's going to be the same people. And so they were like, yeah, we come here literally all the time. We This is our like third time in the past like two years. And like we know the people like the the our waiters at the like chef's table dinner like knew them and they're like oh yeah like yeah but da, da, da. and she was talking about one of the ladies was talking about how like yeah you go to the bar and oh my god look at this y'all you look at this oh my god finally 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 how many do we need five and how many do we need y'all what is that that i got i cannot believe i don't remember oh it was one of these it was a fertilizer right yes this one okay it's just one it's just one okay <gasps> let's go let's run let's run let's run wait let's see if we have any others well at this point i should just use my i should just use the luck that i have okay anyway so there's the different kinds of ships and then but there's like one of each of the ships so then if you're on the navigator you're on the navigator with the same people she was like i would go to the bartenders they would remember me they know my drink order da, 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 da. and i'm like that's so cool like that is just where do you get that experience where do you get that experience really you know so i just didn't know that like that's what cruises were like i thought there were like tons and tons of cruise ships and that like they're always going and you're just like a kind of little cog in the wheel <laughs> which is you know kind of true but it's just a different vibe but they were saying that the different sizes of the cruise matter because once you go one size up they're like navigators are favorite because once you go one size up there's too many people so that's not the same it's not like people remember you it's there's just too many people like everything feels just a little bit more like this kind of feels like a uh, like community you recognize some of the people here and there like it's just like everything is on a smaller scale and it makes it kind of feel more personal and nice versus the bigger ones that can kind of just feel like you're you're like in a theme park or something and i was like that makes sense because there were so many like we would go in the morning to the pool at like we'd go at, like 8 a.m which granted is kind of early we'd go like 8 or 9 a.m like after breakfast and there'd be plenty of like the huge beds that like everybody wants to lay on at the pool like there's only like so many of those like 20 and then there's like tons of chairs the huge beds there were there was always some open we got to choose which one we wanted and then we'd stay there all day because we're like if we get up someone's gonna take this but we were worried about like oh we'd have to get a cabana because there's gonna be people as soon as we, we're not gonna no there was just the right amount of people I just, I, it was just it was great so apart from all of that okay there was just so much to do like there's activities every day the calendar was booked full of like trivia like game shows and they were like real game shows like they put together these like real big elaborate game shows there was skating we never got to see that like ice skating there was a a show a showgirls show that they that the like dancers and singers put on and a ballroom show so we went to the ball we went to both but we went to the ballroom show earlier in the cruise and then they had a ballroom dance class the day after so i was like oh my god dirty dancing so we got to do like this this whole cool experience of like watching the dancers perform and then the next day the two like lead dancers taught the class and it was just so fun and it was like a small intimate class there wasn't that many people there were like mystery games there were like competitions like they had karaoke competitions which we didn't go to but we went to the finale and the the two ladies who tied at the end were amazing like you would see them on like the voice or something they were just phenomenal and all of the judges were like dang we've had a mixed bag before but you guys are really good you shouldn't be in this competition and is this just the same one i'm getting let's see there's three no? Okay, it's different. Yeah, so that was... It's just so cool. There were movie nights. We watched the Elvis movie one night when we came back from Cabo. There was, like, shopping. There's a Starbucks, so you could feel like, oh, you know, like, oh, yes. 
just like a sense of familiarity sometimes in the morning was nice i'm trying to think of what other activities they were like full-on sports activities like rock climbing basketball what's the one where you throw the ball throw the sack cornhole um there's a water slide there was like sudoku and like so many fun activities it was so fun and then like with the stops were beautiful like you'd stop and you can sign up for excursions or you could just explore by yourself and the first we just kind of like walked we did like a sightseeing tour of cabo it was okay the second mazatan it was just like a little shopping center didn't even explore it and then and at that point i was kind of like okay so i don't know if the cruises are really for the destination so much which i i still think it's not really totally for the destination but um depending on the cruise in the amount of days of course but then the third day was so cool y'all it was at puerto vallarta and they brought you to like this little you would like take a smaller boat to get to this little like edge of the eye like edge of the like for it was like a foresty beachy little hideaway i don't know and they had like zip lining they had like water activities like kayaking and just like snorkeling and we would we swam in the warm ocean it was like clear blue waters you could see little fishies in the water it was just unbelievable like i had never since i was like i don't know a child i just hadn't hadn't um experienced that so it was really cool and we tried to swim out to this little floating island they had these like wood floating islands with like a hammock on it and i swim swam out to it i was very determined and then i was like oh i'm out of shape i this takes physical energy i didn't realize that and i was pooped so then i just chilled for the rest of the day they even took a click cooking class there where they made paella and we made different kinds of salsas we made like a rustic guacamole a regular guacamole a pico de gallo we made a roasted pepper chipotle um salsa a aguachile something just so many we made so many things and then we all got to try it and again it was like the smallest class it was like maybe 10 people that just like were both on this excursion and wanted to go to the cooking class you know there were animals there like little pigs and it was just so cool like that was my favorite one of my favorite parts of the whole entire trip and all the food was so so good they served us lunch it was like so handmade so just just real food oh my god it was phenomenal and then the boat ride there and back like the whole crew that was in charge of like the adventure company whatever they did like performances like they were dancing on the way there and then on the way back they did like full-on like lip singing lip syncing performances with costume and everything it was it was fantastic it was just everything was and it was like in a funny jokey way you know like it was just good good fun I was smiling, having a great time, and laughing the whole trip. It was one of those 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 trips, and it was just really good. So peaceful. So many days, I just lounged and didn't do anything, and I didn't feel any type of way about it. I was just nothing but happy, nothing but drinks in my hand, sweet, sugary, frozen drinks in my hand, mango margaritas and such. And sometimes I'd read, sometimes I'd play games, sometimes I'd, I'd look for housing, and all of it was fun, and I had so much fun. So I was saying this on stream. If you are looking for like an affordable trip, a cruise is where it's at for sure. For sure. Because right now they're really affordable. Like we were just looking at a one down to like, it was like a California coast one, four days. And it's like 200, it starts at $200. And that's like, you get free food the whole time. You get like, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not finding a lot of luck here. I got 11 and then I feel like my luck ran out. So that was the cruise. I loved it. I literally cannot recommend at least Royal Caribbean and at least Navigator of the Seas. Like that specific combination. I've never been on any other cruise. I cannot attest to that. I've heard Carnival is not great. I've heard Virgin's really cool because there's no kids. I can only speak to Royal Caribbean, specifically Navigator of the Seas. And it was fantastic. That's that. Then when we got back, we had extended our stay a bit like through the weekend so that we could do more apartment viewings and we had this one apartment that I was trying so hard not to fall in love with I already did it was love at first sight I loved it I thought it was perfect I thought the location was perfect I thought everything about it all the features they, it's like an old vintage LA style kitchen which if you don't just look up like LA 30s kitchen all of the the apartments and houses built in LA in like the 
the late 20s, 30s era, which is when a lot of them were built. It, they have all these like really cute, specific like quirks and characteristics. Like the kitchens would often have the like black and white tiled floor, which is what ours has. And they would have like built-ins in the kitchen with like these little interesting kitchens, just like cute white tile or like colorful tile, white cabinets, cute little like old features. And people in LA have done a really good job at like just keeping those features and just like updating them but with the same like vintage vibes to it and I appreciate LA for that because it's like preserving the culture but everything about it is just so cute um another one of the like quirks LA apartment quirks is like the bathrooms will have like either really colorful tile or just like just a lot of it's a lot of tile it's like tile on the wall and tile on the floor and like the bat like square tiles that there will be like a bath and like a shower separate. So the shower is like in a little alcove, like a arched alcove with like all this cool tile. And then the bath is like separate. Lots of arches in general. Yes. And then a lot of the time they'll be colorful, like really colorful, like a purple, like a lavender, a pink, green, just tile. And it's so cute to me. I think it's really, really cute. I love, like I have always appreciated the style that is in style in the moment while also appreciating the fact that there's always like a charm to something vintage or like retro. I think marrying the two is the coolest, but sometimes I just, I really appreciate a little retro moment. Okay. And this apartment that we found has the cutest little retro moment in the kitchen and the bathroom, at least our bathroom. And I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I just, I, uh, it was perfect. There was so much space, which was a huge thing for us because we wanted everybody, Maya, me, and <laughs> to have a space that we could like go to and feel not impeded at all by anybody else in the house like not in the sense that any of us would just like come and intrude on in somebody's you know relaxing session or something but just like a space where that would not feel even possible so you can totally just feel safe you know like safe zones for everybody because i feel like living with somebody is just things are gonna come up you know things are gonna things are just gonna things are going to come up in your personal life things are going to come up in their life like sometimes they don't want to be bothered sometimes they want to like relax in the way that they want to relax and they don't want to have to like interact with somebody else while doing it or try and like move around somebody else in their own routine in their own moment of st stress or whatever like not even that we are planning for all of these like oh everybody's going to be stressed we need stress areas just like even in good times like when you're having a good day you want to go do your routine that you love doing the most and we want everybody to have the space where they can do that if they don't want to do that with other people in the house you know what i mean because sometimes Maya and i will like be in, you know we're really happy and let's go let's go like make some breakfast in the kitchen you know we make our own breakfast but like we'll make breakfast together we'll talk we'll catch up we'll sit in the living room we'll like watch something together and then we'll like go, go our separate ways and like do do whatever we have to do for the day but like in good times we like chilling with each other and then sometimes when we're stressed we really appreciate the fact that we both have our own rooms we could both both have our own rooms and our own bathrooms we literally we don't even have to like interact with each other <laughs> if we if we don't have to if we don't want to interact with people see people at all we don't have to and that's what i loved about this place i think that's what made us living together so cohesive besides the fact that we're like the same person is just that we had our own space and respected the boundaries so now that we're adding in another person my partner we're adding in the factor of like me and him living together for the first time and maya now having like this person who they're not as obviously not as close with as me and him are to each other where they're kind of having to live with like this newer presence and that's a lot like that's a lot to ask and obviously you know it was their decision to live with us but it was still a lot to like sign on to and i definitely understand that and so i really wanted to make sure i mean i'm sure all of us did but like i really wanted to make sure that everybody had a space and everybody had room to move about and feel comfortable and not feel like their living space that has felt safe and has felt right to them for however long is now like you know they can't go into certain rooms without like oh my god i, gotta, I, gotta, I have to do this otherwise i can't you know what i mean i talked for so long about that i talked i talked and talked and talked oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry but my point is just space was important that's my only point oh my god space was important what do i need solar essence bone fragment oh please don't tell me i like put my bone fragment somewhere stupid um yeah i think some people take not like 
a lot of people but i think that like living together can be either assumed that like it's just gonna be a roommate situation and you just you live your own life and you don't interact with each other and you just live together and that's it it's all the you just gotta figure out the logistics of living together chore charts things like that some people i feel like have that perspective to like living with somebody and then other people kind of have this perspective of like it's all like it'll work we're either we're either we're friends or we're partners so it's just automatically gonna work and both of those aren't my aren't my style I really like to like honor feelings <laughs> and like no matter how small or like whatever those feelings are if you really like your specific routine I want to honor that and make you feel like your home like the home is just as much yours as it is mine and I want to feel that way too so I don't know I feel like there's a lot of things that you can do to ensure that and having your own space is one of them oh my god it's been it's almost been an hour and 30 minutes I've been just just yapping away oh my god I'm gonna be the most insufferable old woman you know the old ladies that just won't stop talking that's gonna be me and that's fine I'll accept it but are y'all gonna be around for that y'all gonna stick around and be like oh my god my friend Kennedy she just won't oi they anyways so all of that to say I did find we did so we found this place and I my heart was just in it my heart was in it I was trying to be realistic about it because we had found it like even before we left for vacation we had found it and I was like I this is like this is the in my heart I didn't say this really to anybody else I was just expressing how much I liked this because I again don't want someone else to feel like Kennedy likes this so much so I'm gonna put my needs aside and my opinions aside because she's saying this is the one I just stated how much I loved it I think it really works for xyz reasons I really think this one works for us but I'm open to seeing other ones so that was kind of that's kind of like the communication around the housing I'm not like I want this one so bad I want this one so bad so that like someone feels like they're letting me down if they provide another option that like might actually be objectively better and I just need to like turn my blinders off so that's how I was communicating about this but deep inside I was like married to it already I was like this is perfect it's perfect it's perfect let me make sure I have everything I need for the I could make I could and should make another lucky pumpkin lucky pumpkin pumpkin soup I'm gonna do it gonna, I'm gonna go do that we did all the crafting recipes right does it like show you that anywhere craft every item okay besties what item have I not crafted what the heck now I'm confusion does it take a while I don't think so I think it does it right when you craft all the items so I must not have crafted every item let's check so we found this place right before vacation. We went on vacation the whole time. I was like, I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Should we just apply before we see it? She was sending us videos of it. I was like more and more falling in love. I was like, it's perfect, perfect, perfect. The day that we get, or maybe it was the day before, the day, no, it was Friday. It was Friday, the day, the last day of our cruise, we were disembarking, whatever. We were getting off the boat and the realtor texted my partner and was like, it may be taken. Somebody is is we may be accepting the offer there's some like little things here and there we're waiting on like deposit and stuff but it's probably taken I was crushed I was crushed again I didn't really I didn't I just I just was like all right it's fine it's fine like it's not meant to be it's not you know there is something else that's more meant to be will come along and it's fine you know we were supposed to move in two weeks and I really wanted this place my heart wasn't in this place I don't know what's gonna come up in those two weeks and we're here this weekend and it would be nice to find a place this weekend so that we know we're but I was like, it's fine. It's fine. It wasn't meant to be. She was like, we can show you some other places. And I was like, okay, maybe, you know, she has some other similar places that we're not seeing on all the apps. They never do. Everything's on all the apps most of the time, okay? Most of the time, everything's on the apps. Unless they have something like brand new, just happy, just lucky, luckily. But the apps usually have everything. Okay, we made, we made the hyper speed grow. So why isn't this, let me, okay, let me, let me look through literally everything. Is there something we don't have? Crafted, crafted, crafted. Everything I have crafted. Okay. Okay. I've crafted one of all those things. I've crafted all of the things that I have here. Maybe I have to sleep on it. I don't, I just don't think that that's how the crafting works. My brain is dead, so I will figure this out later. I'm just, I am a little disappointed in that one. That kind of sucks. I thought that was the last item, but that's okay. It's fine. Okay. So continuing on the story, I promise it's almost done. This is my last update. It's almost done. So we get there Friday. We found one random viewing on Friday and we were like, okay, let's go. Let's go see it. It, it was like $300 above our budget. And we were like, this is not worth 
three hundred dollars above for but like the actual apartment itself there's no way it's worth it so maybe we can get them maybe we can negotiate down we went and saw it it was crap it was bad there's nothing like redeemable about it that would make us even try and go for <gasps> are the animals starving again whoopsies there wasn't anything about it that wanted made us even want to like it was beautiful but it was just there was, it was dingy inside it was kind of old and like the layout didn't make sense it just didn't make sense so we were like, okay, and, I was, and at that point I was really feeling kind of downtrodden, kind of hopeless. And I was like, I just, the options we have in front of us aren't that great now, you know? Oh, cutscene, hello. Oh, Ken, it's perfect timing that you showed up. I brought the children on a little field trip outside to the countryside. You know all about the life in the country, right? So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? I'd love to. Great, let me just call the children over. This is such a cute little picnic. Jazz Vincent, may I have your attention, please? I have a very special guest here to talk to you today, our very own local farmer. She has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so she knows all about the valley's natural resources. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Yes. A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Very good. That's worth two stars, Jazz. Yes. Okay, now let's give Ken our full attention. This valley is chock full of precious minerals. Water around here is teeming with fresh seafood. You'll find no better lumber south of Grampleton. I'll say this valley is chock full of precious minerals. Yes, Vincent? Farmer Ken, is it true that goblins live deep in the caves and that they like to kidnap little girls for their dinner? Yes. Little boys too, though, actually. Vincent, you're scaring Jazz. Let's not talk about monsters. Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. Was I telling her that there actually are goblins? It's a lot of work to take care of these kids, but I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn and hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Would you ever want to be a parent, Ken? Oh, that's kind of sad, but I guess I can understand your point. It's not sad, Penny. It's not sad, Penny. This is why I don't like you, Penny. Well, I'm glad you showed up again. I think the kids had a great time. You don't even have kids, Penny. All right? Not, sad. not everybody wants the same thing, Penny. Penny! I'm sorry. Okay, so fast forward to the next day. We have our tours lined up that we originally had. And we were still planning on seeing the one that I loved because she was like, look, you can come see it. And then from there, I can go show you the other places I have. And, you know, like, you can just come see it. So we we're like, okay, we'll do, we'll do. And I was just excited to see it because I was like, well, you know, if I can't live there, at least I can appreciate it. On the way there, or while we were at breakfast, she texts my partner. My partner gets a text and he's like, oh my gosh. It's like, what? What, 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 what? That was me the whole weekend. Anytime he would react to like a text, I would be like, what, 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 what? Because I was hoping and praying that it was that it fell through. And she was like, it fell through. She was like, it fell through. Like, um, something on the credit, like they didn't just, there were issues. They denied the application. And I was like, I'm so sorry for them, but I'm very happy for me and us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited. So we got there. It was the first one we viewed of the day. And I just knew. I knew as soon as we got there. I knew as soon as we got there, it was beautiful. It was perfect. Everything, it looked identical to like the videos and pictures. Everything was perfect. I just, as I was walking around, I was just like, I just, it's, it's perfect. Like it's every, like every, every inch of it. You know, there's obviously things that could, could have been better. Could have been m I more ideal to like the things that we needed, but it checked every box, like every requirement box it checked. So we were just ecstatic. I was ecstatic mostly. My partner was still like, well, there's still, there's other ones we're seeing. There's other ones we're seeing. He liked this other one that had like a really updated kitchen. It had like mealy, miele, miele, whatever appliances. They were really nice. There was a sub-zero fridge, fantastic. But there was like carpets and it was like kind of dingy. Like some, the area wasn't as good. The place we I loved had literally the best location. Like you cannot argue, no one could argue this was the best location you could possibly have for the area we were looking. Right next to literally everything. And, and like quiet suburban, neighborhood but right next to like a bunch of stuff it was per it's perfect it was perfect it is perfect and so i know i'm rambling instead of i was gonna make pumpkin that's why i went to go down to the animals and i need to feed the animals still okay okay pumpkin soup pumpkin soup pumpkin soup okay and then feed animals so we went and viewed the rest of the apartments. I was like, okay, I'll keep it open mind. I'm keeping it open mind, but I really, really, really like it. I think it's great. I think it's really good, but I'm keeping it open mind. Keep me open mind. 
So we went and saw the other places. I have, I will have a whole vlog on this, on all the places I recorded, most of them. They just didn't work. They didn't work. So we were like, okay, we're applying. We actually applied for the first place, like right after, like we went, sat down, applied for it just because we didn't want to lose it, just in case the other ones didn't work out. So we had already applied. Then I think she got back to us that day and was like, you guys are accepted. Like you guys are fully accepted. Are you in? And we were like, yes, 100%. After seeing everything, we were like, this is it. it you can't, you can't, you can't beat it. So we got it. We were so excited. And then the next day, she like sent a lease. We sent a lease. And she called and she was like, is everything good? Like, are you, you is there anything you want to like discuss? And then we were talking about the appliances because the appliances are old. And my mom literally works in appliances. And so she, of course, is like, you should get new appliances or you should ask them if they can put in new appliances. Um, just like fridge mainly. So she was like, okay, well, you'll need to come over and measure for stuff like that. So if come over today. We're not planning on coming up for that day. We were planning on just like maybe viewing other places or just like exploring LA. We had brunch at Sir. <laughs> Sir Lounge. Yeah, so we, I'm talking so much. I'm, I know, I know. So we were like, oh my God, yay, we can go back. So we went back and we like measured a bunch of stuff. And then we talked to them about appliances and they were like, eh, we're, we're spending a lot of money on like replacing all the really nice blinds that they have and like a few other things so we're not really down to like split it or fully replace it but like you guys feel free to replace it if you want and like store the other stuff and we were like absolutely so my mom looked at it and was like okay i think you just need a new fridge the stove is fine over facetime she looked at it so we ordered a new fridge i'm really excited about that because it's really hot we might just like take it with us after i don't know or leave it i don't know they're fantastic people so i would not mind just leaving it with them I gotta get to, I gotta get, I gotta get to getting, I gotta get to the desert. I don't know, maybe I should save the pumpkin soup for another day. I think I should. I'll save the pumpkin soup and I'll work on friendship. Do we still not have the crafting thing? You guys, this one's really gonna bother me. That's really, I don't know what I did or didn't craft. So I crafted everything that I have. So I just need to make sure that I have everything, right? I'm gonna do this next time. I'm, I'm, I've been talking for so long, I don't want this to go any longer than it has to. So I will do this next time. That one, it bothers me so much. It bothers me because I swore we had everything. Let me just see. I think I figured it out. I think it's fiber seeds. I don't think I have the fiber seeds. If it's not, I literally don't know. I think it's the fiber seeds, which is a Linus special order, which I think was the potatoes, right? I don't think I ever did that one. That is so funny. I don't, I think I just accidentally left, marked that off because I assumed, wow. I assumed that, the, that's so funny. I assumed that the fiber seeds were just the fiber, you know what I mean? Like the fiber starters, but they're two totally different things. So I checked that even though I did not do Linus's special order. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. Okay, so we got to hope Linus's special order is up here or it's coming soon. That's the last one we got to do. I feel like Linus is... Yes, okay, Linus. There's a lot of trash in the water. Why don't we fish them out? Okay, how many we got to fish out, Linus? 20 pieces of trash, dump it in the recycling bin. We can do that, we can do that. Oh, I gotta get my fishing rod, whoopsies. We can do that, especially on my farm, because, ooh, doggy, do I only get trash on my farm? I can't believe I missed this one. What the heck? Okay, so uh, did I finish my story? She told us. we said. Oh, also just in general, the owners are two older people that live in the bottom unit of this duplex. We live on the top. They ha It's just beautiful views. I just, I can't express how perfect our view is from the living room. Beautiful. And we have like a little patio. We go back to like meet with the owners and the realtor, which we had met the owners really briefly the day before. It was kind of like a vibe check. And because they were really big on like, liking the renters they were like i think that's part of, uh, might be partially tied into why they denied the people before in addition to like they i don't think i think the realtor said they just like didn't make enough to afford it like and she said it in a very nice way like we want that we want we don't want them to be stressing about spending like most of their income on rent so it's, it's for both people security reasons and like we just don't want that for them it's just not a good fit um and maybe they don't know that so we're doing them a favor here but I think maybe vibes played into it as well, just a tiny bit, because they really wanted, like, they were big on, are they nice? And the realtor was kind of like the middleman. Like, she was 
you could tell they'd been friends for a long time so she was very adamant about like us meeting them so we're like yeah cool so we met them and they were so sweet they were so so sweet they have two little dogs that are adorable and sweet and it just immediately felt right like it just felt right the husband was like anything you want to fix we're fixing it like we'll fix it immediately right now we're replacing xyz and it will it'll be fixed and if you need to this and we mentioned that we have ev cars and like okay well we'll need to put in a and we'll need to make sure you can plug the ev cars and we'll need to put in an ev charger in the garage for you just so sweet so sweet and and so the next day when we came by the realtor like brought a plate of fruit and she was like come on come on come on like let's go let's go inside let's go sign the papers mm-hmm. let's go make sure we have everything let's just chit chat so we were all like hanging around for like an hour like just chit chatting with the owners and the realtor and just like just kicking it up like chatting about life chatting about things around LA to do just like chatting about the lease and the things and their grandkids and my parents and all everything it was just so sweet it was so sweet and they were so cute and the old man the you know husband was like eat more eat more i'm like i'm eating i'm eating and he's like eat like i'm eating and she was like he makes the best sandwiches like his you know his love language is feeding he wants to feed everybody and i was like okay and then the wife was like do you want to see my basset hound collection and i was like i do want to see your basset hound collection so she takes me into her like den and shows me her basset hound collection and the entire room is filled with basset hounds and it's the cutest thing i've ever seen and she's like i like figurines and i was like i can tell that's very cute and i like figurines too and then we like come back out and she just was showing me more basset hounds that's it it was perfect it was perfect it was meant to be it worked out it, it almost didn't work out but it worked out because it was supposed to work out and i'm so excited and i can't wait to take y'all along with me and just like show you the process and be in the new space recording and i just can't i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait that is that i think that's it i think that was the last life update i watched the little mermaid i loved it it was fantastic yeah y'all i don't think seaweed counts as trash right no that's it i talked for so long eddie you have such a long 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 video to edit thank you and thank y'all for listening to me blab i appreciate it there's a lot of blabbing to be had and i'm gonna fish until why is it all of a sudden now now you want to give me some stuff now you want to give me fish give me trash i want trash I know I've never asked for it before. I just want trash. You know what gave me trash a lot was the one of the mines fishing areas gave me trash a lot. Just, Look, you're just going to give me fish all of a sudden. Oh, my goodness. Just all of a sudden. Here's some fish. A super cucumber at that. Oh, my goodness. OK, well, that's a wrap on today's Stardew Valley playthrough episode 125. It's time for Cozy Corner, friends time for cozy corner it's been so long it's been so long i tried to like send in a few cozy corners throughout i didn't watch the past two cozy corners so i don't know i don't know if they're included but i tried to watch a couple i mean i tried to include a couple that i saw like from people tagging me and things throughout the week on vacation but i saw them and i appreciate them but we're doing a new one we're doing a new one and it's gonna be beefy because you want to know why because it's been two weeks you guys we've hit a thousand posts on cozy corner look at us oh my gosh a thousand posts a thousand y'all that's a lot a thousand individual posts that's so many y'all we did this we did this together that is so sweet oh my gosh you know what I dislike though? And I don't know if this is because now it's hit over a thousand and it's not like a smaller hashtag, but it doesn't, it only al- it only allows me to see recent top posts. It used to allow me to just see absolute recent down. And now it only allows me to see recent top posts, which is so rude because like I'm seeing one that was from a long time ago. Show me absolute recent. You know what I mean? It upsets me. It does. Okay, we have Cozy with Kayla with a beautiful little flat lay. Thank you, Cozy with Kayla. We have Cozy Hobby Shell washing the playthrough and playing Cozy Grove. Oh my gosh, I love it. We have Cozy Corner Kai with a beautiful little setup picture. I love it. And some Notion. Always gotta love Notion. Oh wow, we've got Rowls, 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 Rowls Voyage. Really cute setup. I love your setup. Oh my gosh. Cozy Hobby Shell, I just saw this black knit rose. This is so cute. Y'all are so talented. What the heck? We have the Toad Cottage with this beautiful green setup. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Also, y'all, you know what's so funny? 
There's a creator who I have wronged so horrifically. Oh my god, the wrongs I wronged to this creator. Their username is Legolas. Every time they come, came up in Cozy Corner, I said legal less. I said legal less. Legal less. Maybe they're a lawyer. Legal less. We raided into his stream the other day with Torchy. And if those words don't mean anything to you, that's fine. You, you might not frequent Twitch like some of us homebodies do okay but we raided into a stream after torchy stream and he was like hi i'm legolas and i was like oh my god it's legal less but it's not legal less it's legolas and i just have been desecrating his name this whole time so it's legal less and thank you legal less i don't even see a i don't see a cozy corner from him in this batch but his username is legolas on instagram and twitch and he's fantastic absolutely fantastic follow all of that and i'm sorry for getting your day wrong i love you <laughs> Also, y'all, if I ever randomly like your pictures and reels, it's because I'm filming. I think I've said that before, but it's literally because I'm filming in that moment. I'm filming Cozy Corner and I try and like every single one that I see. There's so many good reels, but it's really hard for me to show y'all the reels. Okay, well, due to this new format on the tags, I can't see some of them. That is just so wild. That is so wild. Anyways, anyways, anyways. We have a cozy friend of the week. We have a cozy friend of the week. Pearl's coat yarns. Pearl Scout yarns. Woo, I got it. Thank you for watching the playthroughs. I appreciate you. I see you and I appreciate you. And we have Paigey Puff who's watching my desk must have videos, which if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Go watch it. Okay, and then that's our Cozy Friends of the Week. I wanna say, okay, this is for all the people that are like, I don't know, I don't know if I totally like what I'm doing in my life. And maybe, you know, content creation sounds fun. It looks cool. Like what's going on over there in that neck of the woods? My one thing I wanna say is that do it, do it, do it, do it. Because there's so many people, even recently that have come to me and they've said like, I started my page, like my social media, my cozy gaming, my cozy crafts page, whatever, shop, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be content creation. It could just be whatever you are interested in, whatever you're passionate about. They're like, I started this because I saw you like pursuing your passions and doing content creation. And I saw this space and I saw what I could, what I could do. And I started it. And now like I've got here, like I started here and now I'm here. And like the amount of growth I've seen some people have in such a short amount of time, just based off of the fact that like they, they're bringing their own voice to the space. They're bringing their own perspective to the space, whatever it is. Like I've seen some people that have come to me and be like, I'm starting a page or I am starting XYZ project. And then they've shown so much growth since when they told that told me that is crazy like think about where you could be in just four or six months if you start doing the thing that you want to do now I know this is so co it's, it's so corny and it's so cliche and I know if you're in a certain mindset you're gonna be like I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it I'm struggling I'm treading water right now please I don't want to hear it and that's fine this is for the people that that do want to hear this do need to hear this start the thing start the thing start it just start it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be perfect oh my god it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't even have to be good it, it in fact it shouldn't be good it shouldn't be perfect it should be you stumbling through things and you figuring it out and that's okay because that's what i did and and i'm here now and i still feel like i'm stumbling through things but i i've had crazy opportunities from starting out absolutely stumbling through things so just start just stumble just do what you're happy doing whether it's crafts whether it's a opening a store whether it's just starting a new hobby learning a new hobby starting a page about that hobby starting a page about cozy gaming it's putting yourself out there just do it don't be afraid to be perceived don't make up all these excuses i'm not this kind of person i'm not that kind of person i'm not the person who does this i'm not the person who does that if i did that which i used to tell myself that all the time i'm not the person who puts myself in front of other people i'm not the person that opens myself up to criticism or comments on the internet i'm not the kind of person who can do xyz who can stream who has the social capacity for xyz i used to tell myself that all the time before i did this but i tried it anyways and look where i am now I'm doing things I never thought I would be able to do and in situations I never thought. So yeah, just don't make up excuses for yourself. Don't make up reasons for yourself. Don't say I'm not this, I'm not that. I don't like this, I don't like that. Just try it. If you haven't tried it, you don't know. If you haven't tried it, you don't know. You don't know. 
you don't know where it could take you. you it could take you to somewhere you could really not like it but that could you trying that thing could take you to somewhere else that you do like never know um i don't know why i thought of that i just did oh i was seeing some of your pages and i was like remembering when some of them starting in cozy corner had like two likes and 20 followers and now they're like, uh, like thousands and that's insane that's insane y'all are amazing doing amazing things following passions not letting fear hold you back and that's so inspiring to see and i hope that i just wanted to kind of share that inspiration that i felt from seeing that in cozy corner even just like such a small microcosm of this dynamic that i'm talking about i just wanted to kind of put words to that inspiration that i felt i felt moved today for some corniness that's it i love you stay cozy bye